What is up, everybody? Josh here again, and today we have a new Icarus video for you for New Frontiers. We're going to be showing you how to get fast red exotics, 400 to be exact, per hour, and about 2,000 ren. Let's get into it, shall we? So the mission we're going to be doing today is a New Frontiers mission, and it's going to be underneath Missions and Prometheus. You have to do it underneath this to do it this way, uh, and to drop down where you're going to be dropping down. So the mission that we're going to be doing that we've actually found out you get quite a bit of exotics from is going to be Tempest Revival. We've tried to make a fast run on Dispatch Manhunt. There's really not one that we can come up with at the moment, and we're also still working on Fracture Manhunt. There is going to be a video hopefully soon we come up with, maybe later down the road when we do some more testing. This done in Hard Hard core is 500 red exotics and 500 ren so it's actually quite a decent amount of payday from it but we're going to work on this one for now tempest revival so we're going to go ahead and start we it up a pretty gnarly missing persons case here for you so once you load up the mission, we're going to do it on hard and hardcore. If you do it on hard, you get 375 Ren and 75 Exotics, Red Exotics. Uh, and you do have a chance to respawn if something was to go bad. But we're going to do it on hard and hardcore. That's 500 Ren and 100 Red Exotics per 15 minutes. Yes, 15 minutes. So we're going to claim the prospect. This right here is the loadout that we use. We're going to be using our Nanio armor set. We're going to be using our survival backpack and three mass dampeners and Larkwell ballistic arrow bundles. One of those. We'll be using the Larkwell Martinez compound bow, our Inaris Ventura knife, our Juju spear for the movement speed, and our Nev's pickaxe as well, as well as a dropship recall beacon. Now, I would highly suggest doing it this way. You can make the loadout your own if you can survive a different way or want to survive a different way. That's completely up to you. Or if you don't have it, I would highly recommend at least having a set of armor the ballistic arrows a compound bow or a bow of some sort to drop down with and a dropship beacon you also will need a pickaxe but you can craft one of those planet side if you want so this farm does require you to have some gear and you do have to be able to unlock that gear for example the arrows they do cost you a whopping 150 ren not really that whopping but they are absolutely amazing you get 25 explosive arrows that you can use to kill the boss quite quickly of course drop pod beacons 250 exotics and 25 ren to craft once you unlock it it's pretty cheap so that's 25 ren to recall your beacon get this done quicker your whole goal of this is to go in and get the mission done and get out as quick as possible just like with our migrating sands runs also just going to show you my talents real quick These are my talents. We're going to go in the solo tree here. I'm going to show you my solo tree talents here. This is what I have for my solo tree, and it'll be active since we'll be playing solo. This is my survival tree. If I if you're going to do anything, go for stamina. You're going to go for a fast build and fast regeneration. I also went into the storm park with exposure resistance and also with the Arctic Master, which is going to give you the movement speed in the Arctic and cold resistance. So you can sit here and pause the video and see my my talents if you want. Those are the only ones that really does matter. And of course, the solo talents that we just showed you. So we're just going to confirm the loadout and drop down. As soon as you gain control of your character in the drop pod, you're going to place a marker and I'll show you where. Looks like you're back. We're going to put a marker right here, right next to this little island. This will be your first objective right here, but we're going to go here and get some wood and some stuff to build up just in case we get a storm. Take all your stuff and consume your bundle. Someone I haven't been in contact with for a long time. And you're going to want to grab as much fiber and sticks as you can. So just while you're walking by stuff, hold E. Yeah, they use some fiber, some sticks, stuff like that, and head towards your objective. I mean it. This is probably one of the most dangerous... Prospector, you may start at any time. Final contact with our staff has given us multiple possible locations. Our forecast indicates that weather may be an obstacle. I'd like to remind you that all data... And you see those stones over there? We're going to go over towards those stones and grab us 36 of those stones. Sharing said data with At least. anyone outside of Group 15 will be considered an act of aggression and shall be dealt with accordingly. All Grab some fiber too while we're at it. Also encrypted for your safety, of course. We're going to craft us a stone axe. You have to have that unlocked. And a campfire, you know, for heat. We're going to take that stone axe and we're just going to chop down about 160 wood, which is about a tree and a half. 
Depending on talents. About a tree for me. So we're going to make two wood floors. Craft. Four wood walls. And we're going to make three wood beams. And once you have that, go ahead and head towards your objective, which is going to be on this little island right here. It is always on this little island, the first objective. So you're just going to swim across here real quick and grab this pistol off this dude. That's unfortunate. Then you're going to head directly west after that. Directly west. Before. Look at your compass. You'll Happy see it. They will be more intact. We're going to head towards the northwest, actually. A little bit north. north. Just trying to avoid all the dangerous stuff like polar bears and whatnot. If you get a polar bear, you can use your ballistic arrows on it, but I wouldn't suggest it. But so we're gonna head north, uh, northwest, and we're gonna head to this next objective. Be careful as there are some polar bears around, and there usually is one around here, so. We're gonna kill this little wolf here. Usually they bring the knife just for wolves in small game. We're gonna head down the left hand side, hug the wall here, and we're gonna go down this little cliff right here. We should trigger the mission here. But you'll hear a sound, don't worry about it. There's nothing really to be worried about. What was that? We're gonna head down here to the very bottom. You'll see a little god down there, and maybe not little, but there's a person down here dead. Just take the stuff off their body and go. Another one. Fine. We're gonna turn around and head there's directly north. Out there. The location from their last signal is on your map. And then head northwest towards the little blue dot you see on your compass. We're going to just go around the mountainside here. You're also going to put the bars on your bar. And then you're going to go ahead and hold R and change it to flat beams like so. Looks like we got a storm coming in. So if we need to, we'll stop and take care of that. So we're going to come up over here. You'll see some rocky cliffs and stuff in the distance we're to come up on the right hand side or the west side of it i urge you to proceed with caution there are signs that the creature may still be in the area we're gonna bring up our our beams here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up right up for you see the ice right down there and you'll see like a little kind of like a ledge right here where the enraged stalker is what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hit page down kind of sink a beam in and just put them across like this. Three beams will work just fine. And we're just going to kill the boss. Be careful not to hit the hole. But you, can, you should be able to shoot down below like this and just kill them real easy. There we go. Okay. Then we're going to go over here and grab the stuff off the guy's suit. You'll need this for sure. And we're going to head over to Sold's house. Head directly southeast. If you need to get out of the storm or you get a storm like this, take your shelter, take your fire. You should have some wood too left over. And survive the storm. If not, just head straight to a soul's house. Soul's house has a campfire already ready and set up. We're going to try to avoid all the polar bears we can, because there was a polar bear back there. Having the talent where you can see health bars above creatures' names is completely valuable for this. It is a little bit of a run over to Soul's house, but just run over to Soul's house as quick as you can. 
Just remember with the cold, if you got a cold debuff on you, you got five minutes to reset it. So. Alrighty, we're coming up to where Soul's house is here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pull out our drop pod beacon and go ahead and throw it over here. Got this little snow kitty in there. We're gonna take care of it real quick. And we're gonna go over here and click on this little device here. Go in the bottom. And get some some heat. Here comes the beacon. We're gonna go and find it. Usually it's pretty close. And we're gonna throw that in there. And that completes the mission. And then we're just gonna go and upload. Pretty much. Return to station and you just got 500 Ren and 100 Red Exotics for your efforts. Rinse and repeat. And it looks like it took us about about 10 minutes for that one. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Go to new again, go to missions and start you over a new mission if you want to keep farming this. Uh, like I said, we'll, we'll keep an eye out on Fracture Manhunt to see if there's a better way to farm red exotics but this looks like this is about it for now maybe until we tech up uh, we'll see but thank you for watching don't forget if you like what you see to like comment subscribe and all that good stuff and hopefully we'll see you next time peace